In this example, we want to determine the length of x using right triangle trigonometry. Looking at this diagram here, we actually have two right triangles. We have this smaller right triangle here, and then we have this larger right triangle here. So we're actually going to have to set up and solve two different trig equations to determine the length of x. So let's call the length from here to here y, and then we'll call this entire length z. So if we want to determine the length of x, we could take the length of z, this leg of the orange right triangle, and then subtract y, the length of this blue leg in the small right triangle. So let's write that down. x is equal to z minus y. And now we'll set up and solve a trig equation to determine the length of z and the length of y. If we take a look at this small blue right triangle, we know the length of the opposite side, and we need to solve for y, which is the adjacent side, and that's going to involve the tangent function. Tangent 49 degrees would be equal to the ratio of 52 to y. Now to solve for y, let's go ahead and make this a fraction, and then cross multiply. y times tangent 49 degrees equals 52, and we'll divide both sides by tangent 49 degrees. And now we can determine the value of y. Let's go to the calculator. Let's make sure we're in degree mode. We are. And now we'll find this quotient. 52 divided by tangent 49 degrees. So y is approximately 45.2 centimeters. And now I'll use a trig equation to determine the length of side z using the large orange right triangle. And notice how it involves the opposite side and the adjacent side as well. So now we'll have the tangent of 26 degrees is equal to 52 divided by z, this entire length. So now we'll cross multiply. z times tangent 26 degrees equals 52. We'll divide by tangent 26 degrees. So we have z is approximately equal to this quotient. So now we have 52 divided by tangent 26 degrees. And we have approximately 106.6 centimeters. So now remember our goal here was to determine the length of x. And x is equal to z minus y. So x is approximately equal to 106.6 minus 45.2, so x is approximately equal to 61.4 centimeters. Again, which is the length of this segment here.